Yeah, what's going on? It's Frankie Noble at TopSpotUSA.com. You're tuned to TSUSA Radio. And on the show today, uh, I got the former drummer of Hey Monday, Elliot James, as well as Skylar Mondell. They got this new project out called Break Blossom. What's going on, guys? What's new with the project? What's going on, man? Hello, hello. Hello. So uh, I'm, I, I'm catching this really uh, good vibe from you guys, from uh, just the music that I've heard out and then you know i heard a clip leak uh not too long ago they tell people what's going on i mean long story short of it i come out of hey monday i was kind of playing around with some friends and i'd been bouncing forth between new york and florida and at the time like guy and i had gotten in touch with each other again and i was asking him you know i was looking for different people to start a project with and i wanted to know if he was still doing music and he was actually working at nasa at the time um, as a rocket. yeah <laughs> He was working at NASA, he was a rocket scientist, he was fighting the world for aliens and all that jazz. And uh, and basically I just uh, I just told him what I was trying to do and he you know, he was he was looking for people to play with too and him and I come from the same West Palm scene and we always used to grow up playing shows and stuff together and it, it just made it made perfect sense, it was a good fit and then we just basically wanted to hybrid two sounds that we didn't think had been done before. And just like not necessarily reinvent the wheel, but just do something that was fresh and that nobody else was doing. And that was break blossom. How could you describe the sound to them? The sound, I would say, is something along the lines of uh, easy on the ear, but rough on the ear at the same time. It's kind of what we're going for. It's something that's a little bit more abrasive than everything that you could turn on and you know on the radio or what the younger bands are doing nowadays we're just trying to meld kind of like poppy catchers with roughness the roughness that me and elliot grew up around in west palm the stuff i was playing back in the day and kind of just nothing those two we basically just noticed that a lot of a lot of bands were getting on stage with these with these huge track sessions and half their half their music's on an iPod now, and even with the harder bands that do it, there's all these like techno beats and fusion of just like pop and hardcore and stuff. And we we just wanted to do that, but in a in a way more raw, natural element. So we went all the way back down to basics and like using easy like the the build methods and stuff of the music like we grew up on, and then just drenched the whole thing in hooks and did it did it our way. Word now. Do you, do you think, uh, you know, like all the techno stuff you're talking about, you think it maxes out at a certain point? I mean, like, even hip-hop went through the same thing, uh, you know, with, you know, just adding auto-tune, 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 and then it just kind of, like, maxed out, went back to basics, organic, you know, kind of thing. Do you think that's what this is a byproduct of, of just, like, everything just hitting some kind of critical mass and then that kind of thing? I think everyone's just kind of reached a point as far as listeners and, and labels and radio DJs and just musicians in general where, like, the market's just way too sad and people want change again and change happens to be the new, the new old. You guys, uh, you're doing what every band should do in, uh, in putting out music videos, just, you know, creating videos to visually represent uh, your songs. You know, what's what's your ethic into going that? You notice that a lot of, a lot of bands really come out, especially, like, trying to do it the right way and, and build from the ground up and, and start from the base. Like, you can't necessarily just announce your band or put your band out and then just not have anything to show for you. You're trying to you're trying to get people to like buy into your movement and come together and just like feel your product but if you're not actually putting out a product you're not announcing shows you're just like putting promos of your band up or something it's not exactly something that gives like a good impression or like a true a true representation of what you guys are trying to do so we basically had had half of one of our songs leaked in a track and uh, it was a song that we weren't even planning on using anymore but people seemed to really love the vibe a lot so we literally just went into the studio one night and shot a video of us playing it and then just in the rawest most natural form possible put that online and that just became the first music video and then now you know people are starting to talk about the fact that they've seen online like little like tweets and clips and stuff that we have another video in the works and uh, it looks like we're going to release that one too and just keep going with it <laughs> you guys are a, a film company and a band i mean that's that's what you turn it into <laughs> but i know I, I love it if you guys haven't checked out uh you know the video it's a continuous shot uh you know pretty much choreographed video that uh you know I, whoever did it i give you guys props because it's, it's pretty pretty boss um, Skyler, I got a question for you, man. On Sundays, I, I do a lot of site maintenance stuff, work on the site, and I was sitting there watching Ancient Aliens, and that's that's my show, man. That's my show. Can, give me any insight on that, man. Me and NASA, I mean, everybody who works there is obviously a huge like fan of 
space, obviously, but not only space, I'm sure everyone's interested in aliens. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in aliens. I actually just finished reading a, a book on aliens just last night. So. Wow. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip the, 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 the long, the long uh, you know, theoretical debate about it. You believe her or no? Oh, yeah, definitely. The universe is just too big for it not to have anything else other than us. It's just too big. It, it grows all the time, you know. <laughs> I definitely, definitely agree. What about you, Elliot? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like, the, the our keyboard player in the band, too, is also an engineer. So, like, when him and when him and Skylar get into it sometimes, we'll start talking about music theory, and somehow we end, like, <laughs> on talking about infinity and, like, the this space and, like realization and things that make myself dizzy, so I just kind of took what they say for it and just believe it. Nice. <laughs> now, I don't really question anything anymore. Yeah, literally. But yeah, I guess I'm a believer too now. Skylar converted me. There I'm just go, afraid yeah. we're, just gonna, we're gonna say something on top spot or say something in an interview and then, you know, men in black are gonna show up on our front door and just arrest our band. So. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll keep it to a minimum this way. Uh, you guys can have a, a prosperous prosperous career and not get uh, abducted. Um, but uh, you know, moving moving forward with that, where can where can fans, you know, or just people that are curious, go and uh, catch you guys at? Definitely breakblossom.com is probably the go-to because even that, I believe, has links to the Facebook. That's mainly what we've been pushing right now. It's basically a YouTube, Facebook, and we're bringing back the whole. Uh, 90s thing with having a website. We feel that like <laughs> since the whole MySpace thing went downhill, you know, in the 90s it was cool. You could go to your favorite bands.com and they had a whole lot of information stuff that MySpace never provided for any of us. I think. Yeah. yeah. It was just too we're, easy. We're gonna, it was easy and free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, and we're gonna we're gonna start doing something that no one's doing anymore too, which I don't understand why. But we're gonna make our lyrics available because nobody does <laughs> more on it. And like CDs inside their websites, like nothing. And half the websites that put them up are probably wrong too. So I guess I guess call us crazy for that too. Definitely. Thank you guys for coming on the show. You know, best best of luck. Oh, thanks. Man. I appreciate it. Just, 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 just